Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with a special review video for you Samsung Epic 4G Touch owners, one I know you guys have been waiting for, but it's a review video of the experimental build of CyanogenMod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich on the Epic 4G Touch. This is a completely alpha build, there's a lot of things not working, that's why I'm not doing a how to install video. Once it gets uh, maybe in beta state, I'll do a how-to install for everyone, but there's just too many things not working, so I'm not gonna do a how-to. But anyways, let's go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see right away, you got the ice cream sandwich lock screen, straight to camera, straight to unlock. Uh, right away, as you can see, you got the Team Hacksung background. I do want to give a big shout out to S. Brisson, JT1134, Team Hacksung, the CM team and Mad Doggin for this. A uh, big shout out to them. It is, as I said, now for there are things that don't work. Uh, but right away, you'll notice up at the top, 3G works. So you got data working, you got text messaging working, calls will work. Um, that's about it to that extent. There's other things I'll be going over. But anyways, uh, very stock ice cream sandwich experience, of course, with Signage Mod 9. Go ahead and swipe down. You got your notification panel widgets up there. You got your settings button. Uh, just overall stock ice cream sandwich uh, notification bar with the quick panel widgets as well. Uh, stock ice cream sandwich launcher, you can make some modifications as you can see, you got your app drawer, widgets as well. Um, I mean everything is very smooth, so don't no uh, speed issues whatsoever, but definitely many things not working, camera being one of them, it'll just force close, as you can see camera has stopped. Uh, camera doesn't work, Wi-Fi doesn't even turn on, so Wi-Fi does not work, Bluetooth won't work, uh, the screen will flicker when you rotate it, so let's go to the messaging app and rotate, and it's very slow, as you can see, it might not even go back without, okay, so as you can see, it's got that little goofy flicker when you rotate, which is no big deal, in case you're wondering, I am using the fly grip uh, with this, um, definitely helps out when I'm doing things, so definitely be sure to check it out. Uh, but anyways, um, signal bars as well aren't accurate. As you can see up at the top, it looks like I have no signal, but no matter where you're at, it's going to show no signal because the signal bars are not accurate. Um, you can't mount storage, so just a heads up there, you're not going to be able to mount your storage as well. Can't watch YouTube, the YouTube app doesn't work. But uh, other than that, I mean, I, MMS doesn't work, but from what I hear, you can use a third-party app like go sms and it will work so keep that in mind um, but overall let's go ahead and go to settings scroll down go to about phone as you can see android version 4.0.3 right there signage amount version uh team hacksome right there big shout out to them and s brisson as well as i said now let's go ahead and tap on android version a bunch of times looks like you got your ice cream sandwich hidden little uh, easter egg press and hold all right <laughs> I always love showing that off. Um, well, and uh, anyways, let's go ahead and check out some other stuff. Um, right away, you've got uh, the launcher settings right here. Um, you don't have many. You got home screen options. Um, you have some drawer settings as well. Transition effect settings, dock settings don't work. Icons don't work. General auto rotate screen. So you do have those nice settings. Um, other settings such as signage mod settings, I, there aren't very many right now. They haven't been built in yet, but you have an, a separate app, signage mod settings. Uh, a lot of them are missing. Got automatic backlight there. You got notification power widgets. You can actually turn those off if you don't want them. So as you can see, they're gone and they're back. So you can turn those off. Um, other than that, as you can see, a lot of the settings haven't been added yet so keep that in mind but as i said it's definitely alpha build the stock browser does not work so it's not going to load let's go ahead and try out dolphin browser just so i can show you data is working well i guess i haven't set it up let me run through real quick skip all right so let's go to google oh, google.com should load right up 3g is working as i said all right so as you can see it's loading and google should pop up with my abysmal 3g speeds and it looks like it didn't. So very interesting that it's not showing up. I don't know if it's just this web page. Let's go ahead and try a different one. Let's try uh, Twitter. See if Twitter pops up. It doesn't. So maybe you'll have to use a different one. Maybe try Opera. But it does load up, but it doesn't show. It does the same thing on the stock browser. So try out Opera. If you do want to try this out, I'll link to the thread in the description. But definitely not a daily driver just yet. I don't think GPS will work either. Um, but data does work. As you can see, I, I had to download Dolphin Browser somehow. If Wi-Fi doesn't work, then how am I supposed to download it? So 3G works. Y-Max isn't going to work. So 
Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's very smooth. I'm very impressed with the smoothness of it. Uh, messaging does work, as I said. Let's go ahead and text Google real quick. Uh, 466453. Hi. So, as you can see, sent out real quick. No issues whatsoever. You got the ice cream sandwich keyboard, which I love. Definitely my favorite keyboard by far. Um, but let's go ahead and let uh, Google respond. It, it, it does incoming messages work. As you can see, they responded just fine. You got your stock messaging app. Let's go ahead and go back, um, see if there's any settings within the messaging app. But as I said, MMS doesn't work with the stock messaging app. I've heard you can use Go SMS and MMS will work in case you're trying it out. But all everything stock pretty much as of right now until more, more comes with. But I just kind of wanted to do this for everyone to show them that uh, it is being worked on. I know a lot of people have been complaining, um, but it's definitely being worked on. We got some awesome developers going at it, so be sure to thank them. I'll link to the, the thread in the description of the video. But anyways, that's about it. Um, I'll be doing more videos as updates come, as well as uh, more working builds come. But that's about it. Definitely let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.